Here we come again into your into your hair and your eyes to let you know faith clinic has just has been concluded for today. Yes, faith clinic. Listen, before I go into a review or overview of what we were taught on today, I want to ask you a question. If there's any type of questions that you want to ask me uh, regarding faith or your situation, you know, why don't you hit me up on Facebook and inbox me uh, the questions and I will get back to you. Or you can also, uh, they do have comments at the bottom of the YouTube. Why don't you go ahead and leave me a, a question if you have any type of question uh, about faith or about whatever it is you're going through. I want to know, you know, who is listening to this? I want to know who is hearing what the Lord has given me to, to bring uh, to the world about faith clinic. Remember faith, I'm talking about stirring up your faith. Sometimes when your faith is not stirred, then you just are seeing that situation as a defeated situation. But it's not defeated, precious. No, you're not defeated. Not by a long shot. As long as you have the Lord and His Word and His power, you are not defeated. Let me go into the word that we had on today in Faith Clinic. And we were talking about um, your faith shall recover all. Yes, your faith shall recover all. Just a couple of scriptures. I'm not going to do all the scriptures that we did actually in Faith Clinic. Again, it is an invitation to each and every one of you that if you're in the Dallas area and you're not doing anything between the hours of 1 and 2, because that's when Faith Clinic is. I want you to stop by. Stop by at Living Waters Global Ministries, 4950 West Illinois Avenue, Suite 121, again in Dallas. That is 75211. We would love to have you in this house. My God, God is adding to faith clinic it is getting more people are coming and that's what i love because people faith are being stirred up people are leaving here going and say you know what i can have just what god said i can have i can do just what god said i can do and i can speak what god said i can speak well let's go to the word of god in the book of matthew chapter 9 verse 29 the bible says then touch he their eyes saying according to your faith be it unto you the lord allowed us to understand and reveal to us that jesus hand was on the situation that they wanted to be healed or delivered from his hand is already on your situation but he cannot he cannot do anything about it until he knows that your Faith is in operation because he said it is according to your faith that this will be done unto you. His hands was on their eyes. They were blind men. They wanted to see. And Jesus said it's according to your faith that you shall see. But my hand is already on your eyes. So I'm telling you that the Lord is already on your situation that you need to be delivered. You need to be healed. You need to be set free. His hand is already on there. You're going to recover cover all. Your faith is going to cause you to recover all. Then we jumped into the book of 1 Samuel, which is a very familiar passage of scripture that all of us know about. It's talking about David. It says that David and all the men, they, they went on a journey, but when they came back, they came back to Ziklag, and guess what? Everything was burnt down. The families were gone. All the houses were just done away with, but guess what? Instead of the people encouraging themselves and say, you know what, God is up to something, they began to get uh, grieved. And when they became grieved, they became bitter. You have to be careful that you don't become grieved in this situation that you believe in God for. Because when you become grieved, you can start to get bitter. And then when you get bitter, your heart get hardened. And when your heart getting hardened, it doesn't matter what God will say to you after that. You will just will not believe. Do you remember what Jesus Jesus said to Judas, Judas' heart was already hardened. And though they was in the form of doing communion, Jesus turned to Judas and said, What's in your heart? Go ahead and do it. Your heart is already hard against me. You're not looking at me like the way you used to look at me. You don't believe who I am the way you used to believe. Go and do what you need to do quickly because there's nothing else that I can say to you, Judas, that would change your mind. And that's where you got to be careful that the situation don't make you grieve because if it make you grieve, you'll become bitter. And if you become bitter, your heart will be hardened. And guess what? You wouldn't want to hear from God through his prophets, through his apostles, through his pastors. 
pastors, through his teachers, through his evangelists. And guess what? You won't even want to hear God through your child because that heart, that heart is hardened because you begin to come grieved. But David didn't want to be like that. The Bible said in verse 6 of First Samuel chapter 30, it says, and David was David said, I'm going to encourage myself in the Lord. He began to encourage himself in the Lord. He began to look back over his life and seeing how God brought him out, how God delivered him, how God healed him. Sometimes you got to look back on yesterday, glory to God, blessing, on yesterday, uh, healing, what God did for you yesterday. And remember, if he did it yesterday, he will do it today. I am, I am entreating you, I am begging you not to be grieved about this situation because your faith Faith is going to cause you to recover all. And the Bible said that David began to say, listen, I need the ephod. I need a divine word. I need divine truth. And he began to inquire of the Lord and say, shall I pursue after this truth? Shall I pursue after this healing? Shall I pursue after this very thing? Glory to God that I've been standing firm about, but yet haven't seen anything. And the Lord said to him, uh-huh. He said, oh, you shall. You shall not just pursue them, but you're going to overtake them, and without fail, you're going to recover all. Do you not know that David faith began to come into operation? He left those that was grieved. He left those that was being bitter. He left those that was trying to be hatred. He left those that was, had doubt, all that negativity. He left them and came into and postured himself in the Lord. And then he got a word from the Lord. And that word was to pursue. And that word that I'm speaking to you right now today is pursue. Pursue after your blessing. Pursue after Pursue after that healing. Pursue after that opportunity. Because if you pursue it, the Bible said you're going to overtake it and you're going to recover all. Which means recover. Which means you had this before. you just going to recover. It's going to be in your possession now. You leave here today knowing this, when, you, when, when this tape begins to end, you know this, that your faith is going to cause you to pursue, and you're going to recover all. I'm saying to you to pursue it. Pursue it again. You might just have to change the people that you was pursuing it with last time. You might just have to, what the Bible said that Jesus said to Peter, launch up to the other side. You may just have to change where you've been going and go to a different place. Come on here, somebody, and pursue after it. I, th listen, I'm so stirred up. I, 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 I believe you can hear it. You can feel it. You can see it. I am so stirred up about this word because the Lord just spoke to me and said, your faith is going to cause you to recover all. And do you not know David pursued after this? His faith caused him to recover all. He was just going after to save his family. But God has so much more in store after this. He said, I want you to get up. I want you to try this thing again. I want you to pursue it. I want you to go after it. I want you to eat it, to drink it, to live it. That I both shine it, to think it. You know what? It was just so much nuggets in there. I'm telling you, you need to respond and say, you know what? I want the whole tape. I want the whole DVD or the whole CD because we talked about the mind. You got to picture. You got to picture yourself being delivered. You got to picture yourself being healed. You got to picture yourself. So many people are jumping around the church because the word is coming forth. But honey, you got to be jumping and shouting because not only because the word is coming forth, because when that word came forth, it, got, it, it brought you a picture of the very thing that he was saying. And then for that reason, you knew that you had it. I love you. I bless you again. Like I said at the beginning of this taping, I want to hear from you. I want to know that you are following me, that you are watching these faith clinic, that it is doing something for you. Hit me up on Facebook, inbox me, or better yet, on the YouTube, it says at the bottom, it says comments. Leave me a question or leave me your name. You know, I want to just let you know that I am here for you to stir up your faith. We love you. I say to you, understand your faith will cause you this day to recover all. Until I see you again, by this time next Wednesday, if the Lord tarries, I'll be back at it. Faith Clinic, one-on-one. -on -one. God bless you. I am Apostle Vanessa Jackson.